Special Agent Celie Booth from the FBI. I'm Dr. Temperance Brennan of the Jeffersonian Institution. Do you believe in fate? Absolutely not. Ludicrous. I still don't. And I still do. This is Mary McNamara, television critic for the Los Angeles Times. And I've actually left my house and my television to stop by the Fox lot to have a chat with Emily Deschanel and David Boreanaz, the stars of one of my favorite shows, Bones, which is currently in its fifth season. For those of you who haven't been following Bones, and frankly, I can't imagine why you haven't, it's a funny, fun, smart, and occasionally very creepy criminal procedural following the adventures of a forensic anthropologist lab headed by Dr. Temperance Brennan, played by Ms. Deschanel, who, with the aid of FBI agent Celie Booth, played by Mr. Boreanaz, solve crimes that no one else can. With this show, I, th I really genuinely feel it's the type of show that really took a while to get its legs going. I mean, it took three seasons just to find certain aspects, or it right. took a year <clears throat> to find where these characters could go and couldn't go, what, what they were demanding from us from certain angles, from, you know, wanting to be more of a procedural show rather than more right. of a character-driven show. And, and I think Emily and I have really kind of um, focused on the character work and letting that be the forefront and drive it. And um, I think we kind of won that battle. And obviously the relationship is what separated the show from the time that it debuted and everybody talked about the chemistry between the two characters and the chemistry between the two of you. And, and what interests me now though is like at the end of five seasons, you guys have managed what seems almost impossible, this like sort of the romantic tension without ever, you know, with no consummation. And it's like, how long can you pull this off? I mean, how hard is that for you guys to sort of keep that going without it? I didn't know that there was like a rule that you had to like consummate something if it was such a great relationship. Well, I think the rule is sometimes when you consummate I mean, right something, it it's, it's, goes down. Well, that's well, that's, that's true. conventional yeah. wisdom with, the, with a television show is that when the two characters finally get together, there's no more show. Yeah, I guess so. You have so. to I don't do know. certain things. I mean, we had, um, you know, we had a kiss. Um, we were dared to kiss, or blackmailed, essentially, right, to kiss in, right. a, in a Christmas episode. Um, two Christmas episodes? Right, two. which Christmas you can Christmas see episodes? replayed on YouTube in many different right. forms. Yes. <laughs> right, And then we had a fantasy over over. episode last year where uh, we played a married couple. People right. were upset about that because, you know... Because it, it was, like, sort of, I mean... They made a big deal. From. They finally get together, and then it's like, it's fake. Yeah, <laughs> and I understand that. So, you know, you kind That's of, funny. but it gives people something without right. totally putting these characters together. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, you know, it would be dangerous to have, you know, Booth and Brennan, a married couple, working together Right. Well, what, what's wrong with them not ever getting together? I mean, that that's the other coin that I flip on. Like, it's like, I remember talking to somebody who was, uh, I think it was Robert Bianco, and he's like, well, why don't they never, I mean, it'd be great if they never got together. And I was like, you know what, it makes sense, because they are they are together. And that I mean, happens, I mean, in, happens real life, in real life, too. too. Right, it's like, right. sure, I mean, how long does it take for them to consummate whatever, and it's, it's, it's kind of like you have this great relationship thing going. Why not just let it roll and see what happens? You know, we're going to have to break this to sweets very gently. Why? He should be grateful. He can be grateful later. What do you mean? Well, you know how people are grateful when you yell fire, but, but before they're grateful, they panic and they run into walls? You think sweets is going to panic and run into a wall? Metaphorically, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to like it. Well, if there was a mistake in one of my books, I'd want to know. What you call a mistake, Sweets calls an interpretation. Interpretation? No, it's an actual factual error. Okay, what exactly do you think you think we're telling him about? Page 31, and I quote, Subjects work together for the first time in solving the murder of pregnant congressional intern Cleo Eller. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> That's right, we worked that other case before that. What did you think we were going to talk to him about? The whole, uh, love thing? The love thing? Oh, his conclusion that we're in love? I don't care about that. 